what's going on, Senpai Squad? Welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're reacting to Boruto opening nine, and I am unexpectedly actually really excited for this opening because although the previous two have been incredibly clickbait not actually focusing on anything to do with the arcs actually play during that opening with the confirmation from kishimoto himself that this next arc will involve some of the old generation as their kid selves way back from naruto part one i am expecting this opening to be for one, linked with that arc, and two, to be incredibly nostalgic and incredibly beautiful all round. So, without further ado, I should also probably say that leave all your thoughts and opinions on the actual episode itself for the episode review, which will be out in the next day or two once we've finished up with Black Clover and Samurai 8 as well. But without further ado, let's jump into this live reaction for Boruto opening nine. Fingers crossed, it's a banger. Let's go. Okay, so it's sort of what I was expecting so far. Quite slice of lifey, but I like the art style. It's quite cool. Like the whole sketchy watercolor. There they are. There's some Jiraiya. Adult Sasuke. Is he going to turn into small Sasuke? No, he's just going to vanish. Groovy. It would have been cool if they kept the Boruto logo in that same watercolor style. That would have been so good. That would have been a header for Twitter. Okay. This is interesting. Very slice of life here. You can see what they're going for. But when are you going to... There. We're starting to jump into the old... There they are. This is so weird. Why is it so weird? Okay. So is Boruto the only one going back? To see them? I don't know what's going on here. It's clearly linked into the old to the to new arc. Oh, wait, we've got some action. Are they gonna show who we're against? They're sort of showing generic attacks really, aren't they? The classic fighting the air. I'm liking it. Yeah, it's groovy. Okay, it's, it's, it's wholesome. It's wholesome, I think, is uh, how how you could describe it. It it's nice. It's a nice opening. Um, I sort of hope that they do do a change at some point when the uh, the next arc starts, because I, I I don't imagine this arc is going to last the entirety of the opening. Not a chance in hell. But it's wholesome. I liked the art style when it was in the watercolor version. The visuals, in my opinion, compared to the previous two, weren't as good. Like I, I, I don't know. It, it was they were sort of generic visuals, sort of type thing. But I must admit, like the watercolor style that they had at the start and at the end was absolutely fantastic. I loved it. The song was going to take some getting used to. I, I knew the artist, so I sort of expect, I think from the artist alone, I was sort of expecting a slice of life opening because if you listen to, I think her name's Miwa, if you listen to her music, it's, it's majority of it is very slice of life. -y. But I think, you know, overall, I did enjoy it. It's, I'm still waiting for Boruto to have that opening, which is just, uh, it just encapsulates you and you can't not listen to it. Still waiting on one of them, but like I said, wholesome, enjoyable. It was nice. I think that's the best way I can put it. If you guys did enjoy the opening, make sure to leave me, let me know in the comment section down below as always. Leave a like on the video as well if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're not ready to become a member of the Senpai Squad and help us hit 3K by the end of the year. And I've seen it, you guys in another video. But until then, peace. <laughs> Chikazuite kuru, kesen motoki.